Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another class with me, Sean Helene. My apologies about the hiatus and uploading classes over the last few months. I've been teaching live classes for a while. I'm now on paternity leave and coming to you temporarily from Seattle. We have a great view of the Space Needle for class. Um, and I'm excited to take some of the stuff that we've been focusing on in my live classes and bring it to you in these recordings. And today we're gonna to begin with some of the wonderful shoulder work that we've been doing. And you will definitely need a strap and a block. You could also use a belt or a book if you don't have yoga props at home yet. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're gonna get started with what is currently one of my favorite shoulder openers. Um, you might wanna have a block nearby just in case, but you're gonna start by lying down on your belly. And then as you lie down on your belly, you'll take your right arm off to the right at a 90 degree angle. And notice I have my elbow bent, it's like a cactus arm. So there's a 90 degree angle between my elbow and my wrist and my elbow and my shoulder. And then I keep that and when I roll over onto my right side, I have to scooch the arm out just a little bit, but you'll roll over onto your right side and immediately notice a very intense stretch across the front of your pec. Here you may want to rest your head on the block. And for this first round, I want you to just keep your legs stacked. Don't do anything funny with the legs. You can tent your left fingertips. Just take a few breaths and let the front of your right chest really stretch open. Then roll back over to center. Take your left arm off to the left, again at a 90 degree angle. And when you roll to your side, you kind of have to sneak the arm over to the left a little bit more. Let your head rest on the floor, or for me, I have a short neck. I need to rest my head on the block. And again, this is really a, a passive stretch. I don't teach too much passive stretches where you just kind of lay into the stretch, but here you're just kind of like, oh, Oh, my, my, my chest is stretching open. It's so nice. All right, now we're going to repeat this again, but start to add on a couple of different experiences. Let's call it that. So roll back onto your belly. Take your right arm off to the right. Roll over onto your right hand side. Start with your head on the block. Now this time, I want you to lift your left leg Point your left toes, keep your left leg straight, and then just move your left leg straight back behind you a bit. You're not trying to touch the floor, you're not trying to bend the knee. Now as you move your left leg back and point your left toes, now I want you to walk your left fingertips in the opposite direction of your left leg. So you're kind of stretching your body almost into kind of like an X shape with your right elbow bent instead of straight. And then the more you exhale, the more you can just kind of reach your left foot back and reach your left fingertips away. And you'll start to feel your whole spine stretch. You'll feel your left thigh open up a little bit. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Oh, I could stay there forever. All right, second side, take the left arm off to the left. Again, place your head on the block, if you wish. Roll over to the side. Oh, I have to readjust myself just a little bit here. Lift the top leg, and again, point your toes. Reach the right foot back. Ooh, I still need to adjust myself. And as you reach the right toes straight back, walk the right fingertips in the opposite direction. So the more you reach the right fingers and the right toes away, and the more you can start to roll just very bit by bit over onto your left hand side. And then slowly walk your right hand back, roll back onto your belly. Now you can move your block off to the side, just for now, we'll probably come back to that later on. And then lying on your belly, place your hands by your chest, press your feet down. Inhale, just come on up into a little cobra, roll your shoulders back. I know it's weird kind of to do cobra almost first thing, but hopefully after that warm up, you're like, oh, my shoulders, my chest and my spine, so nice. I'm southern all of a sudden, I'm not sure why. Exhale, now go ahead and lower back down. Push up onto all fours, hands and knees. Need to crawl forward a little bit more. And then as you exhale, come into a cat pose. Press into the floor around your back. 
Inhale into cow. And again, exhale into cat. One more round like that. Inhale. Look up, lift your sit bones. Exhale, round in. Now, come back to neutral. We're going to do what I've heard called circular cat cows. You'll imagine you're drawing a circle with your abdomen. So you're letting the belly go down, around to one side, pull up, and then to the other side. And your elbows can kind of bend a little bit to help you, I guess, you could almost call this like a little bit of a gyration movement. And then whatever direction you were going, switch directions. Try to move the inhale on the belly moving down and the exhale on the belly moving up. All right, then come back to neutral. Tuck your toes, walk your hands forward and stretch back to downward dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now in your first down dog, take your feet nice and wide, bend your knees. With your knees bent, press your hips back. Keep your hips pressing back and slowly start to stretch your legs a little straighter. Ooh. All right. Then take your feet back to about hips distance. Stretch your right leg up into the sky behind you. Exhale, curl your knee forward towards your chest. Lift your knee up around your back. Inhale, stretch your right leg back and up behind you. And then exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. All right, so you're going a little bit wider with your stance. Come up onto your fists. Now, stay up on your fists and just temporarily lower your left knee down. As you exhale, I want you to push your fists down and do a back bend in your upper back. And you'll notice when you back bend in your upper back, this will kind of force your hips to drop and your back thigh to stretch a little bit more. Keep the back bend in your upper back, but as you exhale now, re-straighten your back leg. Lift more from the thigh than by pushing up through the knee. Ah. Oh. Place your palms, exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, take your left leg into the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Pause here for a moment, lift your knee, claw your fingertips. Inhale, stretch your left leg up and back. And then exhale your left foot outside of your left hand. Again, let your left toes turn out a little bit. Come up onto your fists. Lower your right knee down to begin. Push your fists down as you exhale. Turn your biceps forward, triceps back. Extend your upper back. And this will force your hips to kind of uh, collapse a little bit. And actually, that's what I want you to do. Just don't overdo it if you're very mobile in your pelvis. Then as you exhale, lift your back thigh. And as much as your hips are dropping and your front thigh is dropping, Push and resist your right thigh upward. Then place your palms, downward facing dog. From downward dog, inhale the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to cobra or upward dog. I need a little while before I can get to up dog. Ah, exhale and press back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, stretch your right leg up into the sky. And why not again bring your knee to your chest? Pause here, bring your knee a little more forward and then a little bit more up. Claw your fingers. Stretch your right leg back into the sky. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand again. Same as before, lower your left knee, come up onto your fists. Press your fists down, do upward facing dog in your upper back and your arms. Then as you exhale, lift your back thigh. Watch how much you push back from the knee, lift from the thigh. Even as you lift the thigh, the front thigh and hip is dropping down. Now this time as you exhale, reach your right kneecap forward an inch, reach your left heel back half an inch. Relift your left thigh as you do that and extend your upper back. Place your palms, downward facing dog. Step on deck, y'all. Oh, I'm Southern. I don't know why I'm Southern. I'm in Seattle right now. Left leg up into the sky. 
Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Pause, really round your back here. Inhale, reach your left leg back and up. Exhale, step your left foot outside your left hand. Left toes turn out. Last time we'll do this. Right knee down, come up onto your fists. If you have bony knuckles coming up onto your fists, if that hurts, you can also do fingertips. That's totally fine. Good. Upward facing dog in your upper back. Straighten your back thigh. Exhale, push your left knee forward slightly. Reach your right heel back slightly. Engage and push the top of your right thigh up just a little bit more. And then exhale back, downward facing dog pose. Inhale, please come forward to a plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, now this time take your right leg into the sky, please. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Hands up to your front thigh this time. All right, let your back knee bend a little bit. Don't worry about straightening your back knee. Come on up a little more vertically. Then inhale, take your arms up, interlace every finger except your pointer and thumb. And yes, I realize the lighting is not ideal right now. I'll work on that for next time. Stretch up nice and tall without back bending. Then as you exhale, keep your back knee bent and side bend to your right. As you side bend to your right, keep your chest pointing forward. Don't turn it down. Keep straightening your arms. Inhale, come back up to center. Lift your chest a bit. Exhale, your hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog pose. Inhale, forward to a plank. Wait for the breath. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Upper arm bones back. Exhale, lower. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg into the sky. Exhale, your left foot forward. Hands up to your front thigh. Bend your back knee a little bit. Come a little more upright. Again, you're not trying to straighten your back knee in this variation of the lunge. Take Kali Mudra, switch the interlace of your fingers. Up you go, Z's. Then as you exhale, side bend to your left. Keep your chest pointing forward, keep breathing, and keep stretching your elbows straighter and straighter. Inhale, come back out of the side bend, pause. Exhale, your hands to the floor. Step back, down, facing dog. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, lower down. This time, pause once you're on the floor. Excuse me. <laughs> Flip your arms back by your sides. Put your palms flat on the ground. Keep your palms flat on the ground. Lift everything up except the palms. Now as you lift everything up, make sure your upper arm bones and shoulders are rolling back as well. Then lift your arms, interlace your fingers, and lift your chest up. From here, lift your wrists half an inch. Keep your wrists that high, exhale, lift your chest half an inch. To release your hands and feet, right up to a cobra or an upward dog. Ooh, there's up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho All right, warm up is almost finished. From downward dog, take your right leg up into the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Back knee bent again. Inhale up. Arms up. Take Kali Mudra. Inhale here. Exhale side bend to your right. Keep your chest pointing forward. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back. Downward dog. Inhale your left leg up. You guys know I like to repeat stuff. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Back knee stays bent a little bit. Inhale, Kali Mudra. Stretch up. Make sure you wait for your exhalation and then side bend to your left. Don't turn your chest or drop your head. Keep looking up. 
Keep that chin up, guys. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands down. This time, step forward to the top of your sticky mat and come into a standing forward bend. Ooh, all right. Inhale, now stand all the way up. Arms to the sky. Exhale, your hands to your sides. All right, and he thinks we need just one twist for now. Keep your feet hips distance apart at the front of your mat. Inhale, bend your knees. Reach your hips back and stretch your arms up. Now, stay in chair. Put your right hand on your right thigh. Lift up through your left waist and exhale. Twist your left elbow outside of your thigh. Stack your palms. Focus more on turning your chest up than trying to keep your hips square. Keep pulling your right shoulder, top shoulder blade back into the spine and breathe. Hips stay low here. Oh, even lower. Oh, lower, Sean. Oh, God. All right, inhale back to chair. Ooh. And left hand to your left thigh. Stretch up through your right waist. Usually I pause between sides, but not today for some weird reason. Stack your palms. Lower your butt, exhale, press your bottom elbow down, suck your top shoulder blade back, and then twist. Inhale back to chair, you got this. Exhale, standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower. Once you're on the floor, like we did before. Palms back by your sides. Press the palms down. Lift your head, shoulders, legs up. Now, make sure when you lift up that the upper arm bones haven't been forgotten. Don't forget your poor upper arm bones. Lift them higher. Then lift your palms. Interlace your fingers. Oh, so much nicer after that twist. Okay. Staying in locus. Lift your wrists a little. Then lift your chest a little. Then lift your wrists a little and lift your chest a little. Now, without dropping your chest, put your hands and feet down. Come on up, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Adho Mukha Svanasana. In your downward dog, take your feet as wide as your sticky mat. Bend your knees, reach your hips back. Keep your hips reaching back, re-straighten your legs, breathe. Walk slowly to the top of your mat. Standing forward bend. Inhale, stand all the way up. Stretch your arms to the sky. Okay, grab your strap. So the beginning of this strap work might feel really familiar, but kind of changed it up a little bit. I think I did it in some of my other videos. I can't remember what I did yesterday, let alone six months ago. So bear with me if it's a little repetitive. So what I want you to do Stand with your feet separated, hips distance. Take your arms overhead. Stand back a little bit. Take your hands just a little bit wider apart than your shoulders. Oh, there's air conditioning right here. I'll stand right here. <laughs> what a fun surprise. Now, from here, I want you to bend your elbows and try to have the wrists wide enough apart that your elbows are at a 90 degree angle from your shoulders and wrists, like we did in the very first pose we did, okay? Now with the strap, just a little bit behind the back of your skull, try to pull the strap apart, right to left, left to right. You'll feel some shaking, probably. You'll feel a lot of work in your shoulders, your delts, maybe a little stretch in your chest. Okay. Now keep this pulling sensation, but now from here, try to pull the strap down even more. And as you pull the strap down even more, pull the back of the shoulder blades into your chest. Kind of lift your chest. If your elbows are too close by your sides, and if you just drop the strap down, nothing's gonna happen. You might need to take your hands a little wider apart, especially if you feel any pinching in the inner shoulder, you can try taking the hands a little wider apart. Ooh, okay, and then release that business. But don't release the strap, because as you guessed, we're gonna do this in other poses. Okay, from here, coming back onto your mat, right leg forward, left leg back, okay? From here, bend your back knee a little bit like we did in the last lunge. Take your arms overhead. 
Now start by pulling the strap down so that it's just a little bit behind the back of the head. Nothing too far back. Okay. Then pull the strap down. I'm gonna take my hands a little wider. It's feeling better today. I'm not quite sure why, but keep this action. Now lift your chest up. From here, I know this is gonna sound sacrilegious. I want you to move your hips forward till your front knee comes past your ankle. I know, I know, I know. J just try it. Bring your knee past your ankle, back knees bent. Then lift your chest up, pull on the strap a little bit more. Is your knee really past your ankle? Do it, try it. Lift your chest and then come on out and switch sides. Left leg forward, right leg back. You might need a moment to catch your breath. And by that, I mean I'm talking to myself, I think. Left leg forward, right leg back. It was all just really fun shoulder opening chest stuff today. Okay. Now, back knee bent a little bit. Arms up. Here we go. Start by taking the strap down just behind the back of the chest, or excuse me, the back of the head. Pull. Then take the strap down more. Lift your chest up. Then here we go. Break it all the rules today. Bend your front knee past your ankle. Lift your chest up. Back knee stays bent. Breathe. And come on out. Step back to the top of your mat. Move your strap off to the side. I need to adjust my mat. It seems to be sliding like it does in literally every video. Never happens in a live class. Back to the front of your sticky mat. Inhale your arms up. Stretch. Exhale, fold to the ground. Standing forward, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower down. Pause. Now right away, reach back. Interlace your fingers. Lift up. Oh my God, so much freedom. Oh, freedom. And right up, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. From downward dog, Take your right leg up into the sky behind you. You know what? Put your right leg back down. Sorry, let's start with the left leg. I think it'll be a little bit easier to follow along. Then step your left foot forward between your hands. Lower your right knee and untuck your back toes. From here, bear with me. This is a little bit convoluted, com com complicated, alluded. Take your right hand behind the back of your head. Walk your left fingertips back a little bit. Now, start to turn your chest open to the right and plug your right shoulder blade back into your spine. Lift your chin out of your chest without over cranking the back of your neck. On your next exhale, pull the right shoulder blade back even more and twist your chest. Now, stretch your top arm past your ear. Inhale, release your right hand back down. Step back, downward facing up. Inhale, your right leg up into the sky. Exhale, your right foot forward between your hands. Left knee to the ground. I know we often do this pose with the right hand, the bottom hand on a block. It's just a little bit of a different way of experiencing it. So walk your right fingers back a little bit. Left palm behind the back of your skull. Plug your left shoulder back. Start to press your head back and twist your waist. Twist your chest open to the left. And then as you twist your waist and chest open to the left, open your throat, keep the back of the neck long. Then on your next exhale, extend your top arm. Breathe. Inhale, release. Place your hands back down. And downward facing dog, Adho Mukha. From downward facing dog, bend your knees. Look forward, walk or jump to the front of your mat to a standing forward bend. Inhale, stand all the way up. Stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale your hands down to your sides. Tadasana. All right, from here, I'd like you to grab your block. Now, if you're, I'm on two layers of carpet here, so <laughs> you might wanna put something soft underneath your knees. We'll be kneeling a little bit. So I want you to come up to standing on your knees as if you were doing camel pose. All right, okay. Now I'm gonna start mirroring you here. So 
step your left leg off to the left. I want you to line up your left heel with your right knee and then make sure your right hip is directly over your right knee. And there's lots of different variations of perigasana. This is one of my favorite ones to work on, especially for the side, uh, for the front body. Now you can have your toes pointed down or up. Most of us will need to have them up. This movement, we'll spend the whole class on this one time. It's really boring, but it's really helpful for the knee and the ankle. All right, but for now you can have the foot up. Just make sure you're not liking out the knee. Take your block to the highest setting. Place it down underneath your left shoulder and your right hand onto your hip. All right, then start to turn and roll your chest up a little bit. Try walking the block out a little more towards your left foot. Slide your right shoulder up into your ear, roll it back. Take your right palm behind your skull like we did in the last pose, then plug your top shoulder back, press your head back, breathe, and then stretch your top arm past your ear, maybe even a little bit back behind your ear. When you come out, I want you to kind of sweep down, look down a little bit, and then inhale, come on up, bring your left leg in, and step your right leg out. Perigasana, gatekeeper pose, the keeper of the gate. All right. Now, again, right heel lines up with left knee, left hip stacked directly over the left knee. Take your block off to the side. So here, again, we'll do a whole class. There's so many elements to this pose. When you start to slide your spine, your upper body over, your hips have to shift like triangle pose. Much easier said than done. We'll focus on, I think I already did focus on this in another class. If I was more organized, I would like, look at the link right here and click on it, blah, blah, blah. But I'll never, I'd never be like that. Just go find it somewhere. Now, turn your chest. Maybe you walk the block out a little bit more. Roll up and then stretch your top arm. Plug the shoulder back, hand behind your head. Sorry, I forgot that part. Then stretch your top arm past your ear. Twist up, breathe up. And inhale, slowly circle your way out. Stand up with your block. Stay facing the long end of your mat. I will stay uh, mirroring you. Separate your feet wide. You can jump out if you're feeling a little more peppy today, a little more excited. Feet parallel. You'll notice, yes, those are my toes coming out of my socks thanks to all the dogs that I have chewing up my socks. Turn your left toes out 90 degrees. Turn your right toes in just a little bit and bend your left knee. Take your block to the tallest setting again. So we're more interested in the upper body today than the lower body. So stay at the tallest setting, left hand on the block, right hand to your hips, setting up for side angle pose. Roll and turn your chest up to the sky, but push your left knee out into the left arm so your left butt cheek stays nice and engaged. Right arm straight up to the sky, then bend your right elbow like we've been doing before. Take your whole palm, try to get the whole palm behind the back of your skull. Plug your right shoulder back a little bit, lift your chin up, press your head back and twist the bottom of your ribs up. And as you twist the bottom of your ribs up, push your left knee out more into your left arm now stretch your top arm past your ear and maybe a little bit even behind you like you did in gatekeeper pose. Inhale, press into your legs, rise up, straighten your front leg, left toes in, right toes out, bend your right knee, warrior number two. Take your block, block outside of your right foot, hand to your hip, turn, roll your chest up, Top arm up to the sky. Then again, oh, my whole palm's gonna get back behind my head. Yes, there it is. Sometimes even just putting the palm back there, not even doing anything else is nice on the shoulder. And plug the shoulder back, press your head back. As you press your head back, press your bottom hand down and turn your waist. Oh, but don't forget your front knee. Press your knee out into your arm so your butt stays strong and your knee stays integrated, stays into, in, with integrity. Stretch your top arm past your ear. Reach, oh, I'm gonna reach the space needle. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. 
Inhale, come on up. Straighten your front leg. Parallel your feet. And then step or jump your feet together. All right, please go back to a downward facing dog. This is what I'm doing on time. Okay, perfect. Now from downward facing dog, either take a child's pose for two breaths, three breaths, or inhale the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. And then exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. All right, from downward dog, please take your right leg into the sky behind you. Then as you exhale, step your right foot between your hands, lower your left knee to the ground, pad your knee as needed, bring your hands up to your front thigh. All right, bend your back knee, reach back with your left hand. I'm not gonna go over the different grips of the foot today, just grab and pull the foot in any way you're able to with your left hand. Then start to take and turn your left hip and left ribs a little more forward and pull your right hip back. Oh, yes. Now as you pull the right hip back and the left hip forward, just spend a few breaths here realizing, oh, your quads are tight because we haven't done any quad opening hardly at all. So we're gonna do more than Sean planned. All right, go ahead, release slowly. Back to a downward facing dog, Adha Mukha. Inhale your left leg up into the sky. Exhale your left foot forward between your hands. Right knee down to the ground, hands up to your front thigh. Bend your back knee, reach back, grab a foot of your hold, a hold of your foot rather. <laughs> Once you have your foot, Right side of your body turns forward. Exhale, left half of your body pulls back. Just take a few moments here. Ooh. All right. We will have time and a chance to do more things with the top arm. Don't worry. I can see you at home. You're like, oh, I want to do this. Don't worry, we'll do that. Inhale, release. Back to a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg into the sky. Exhale your right foot between your hands, left knee down to the floor, bring your hands up to your front thigh. Again, please. reach back, hold your left foot, draw your left foot in. Like before, left side of the hip comes forward, right side of the hip pulls back. Now take your right arm up, bend your right elbow, plug the right shoulder back. Now this time, Bring your hips forward and down. They won't move very much. Then press your head back, lift your chest. On your last exhale, stretch your arm past your ear, and then release your right hand and your left foot down. Downward facing dog pose. Oh, feeling so good. Left leg up into the sky. Exhale your left foot forward. Right knee to the ground. Hands up to your front leg. Then bend your back knee. Last time in this pose. Reach back, grab your right foot. Draw your right foot in. My toes are starting to hurt now. As you try, keep going. To take off my Hanukkah socks. As you draw the foot in, left waist back, right waist forward, take your arm up. Bend your elbow, put your palm behind your skull, plug the shoulder back. Now move your hips forward. As you press your head back, lift your chest. And then inhale, slowly release. Exhale back, downward up. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Oh, there we go. Exhale, downward dog. All right, so this next one is going to be a little bit complex. Bring your right shin to pigeon pose. All right, we're gonna do a very specific way of grabbing the foot and opening the chest simultaneously. So watch, bend your back knee, and you might wanna put your bottom hand, your right hand on a block for balance, stability. Bend your back knee. Now watch, I'm gonna put my palm on the inside of my back foot like this, okay? Now from here, you're going to swing your elbow 
to your right. So the elbow's opening not up to the sky, but halfway to the sky. Now, here's where things get really juicy. I'd like you to push your foot into your hand, but then push your hand back into your foot. And you'll notice when you push your hand and foot into each other, you'll start to feel a really deep stretch in the front of your chest. Keep that pushing and pulling, but now start to turn your chest more forward. My elbow tip is still pointing inwardly, not upwardly. Then keep pressing the hand and the foot into one another. Turn your chest, lift your chest, breathe. Someone's at the door. All right, then exhale, release. Go back to downward facing dog. Take three breaths or cycle through a vinyasana. Now from downward facing dog. Inhale, take your left leg up into the sky. Exhale, swing your left shin forward between your hands. Back knee down. All right, bend your back knee. Same thing as before. If you're finding it difficult to place the hand onto the foot, you can put your bottom hand, your left hand on the block. Palm, not the fingers, but the palm goes into the inner heel. Widen your elbow out to the side. Push the hand and the foot into each other. So you're pushing your foot this way towards the center of the mat, but you're not letting the hand, you're pushing the hand back. Then start to turn your chest more forward. You should be feeling a lot in the front of your chest as well as the quad. Breathe. All right. And then inhale, slowly release. Back to a downward facing dog pose. Now I think one of the nicest parts about that variation we just did is actually finishing it. So bring your right shin forward, same as before, bend your left knee, place the palm on the inner heel, then push the hand and the heel into each other, turn the chest forward, Keep this variation for a few breaths. You're really getting the chest open. Then draw the foot in as much as you can. Oh. Keep turning left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale, release. Down, facing dog. Last time, left shin forward. Pigeon pose. Bend your back knee. Palm goes inside, wide in the elbow. Press the heel in the hand. Wide, turn the shoulder, turn the chest. Ah, breathe. Then as you exhale now, bring the foot in. Lift yourself up a little bit. It's, it's hard this deep into a thigh stretch to get much of a, a lift in the upper back, but maybe just a little bit. And release, back to a downward dog. From downward facing dog now, inhale your way to plank pose. Exhale, lower down to the floor. Pause once you're on the floor, reach back, interlace your fingers, lift your arms, chest legs up, bend your knees, grab your ankles, kick up, bow pose. I like to point my toes and bow, nothing wrong with it, helps to open the front of the thighs. Then release, press back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bend your knees a little, reach your hips back, and breathe. Re-extend your legs. All right. Okay. Come on down to seated. So I want you to watch. This isn't the last back bend we'll do, but it's probably the more complex. So the most complex one we'll do. This is one of my favorite variations for getting both the chest really open, the thigh really open. Um, some people call this Anjaneyasana variation. Some people call this uh, camel variation. So I step one foot forward, have one foot back. Notice it's not a very long lunge. You want your back hip directly over the knee. You want your front knee over the ankle. It's more like a boxed 
lunge. Now, a lot of the time when people do this pose, they reach back with the same hand and the same foot. I teach that a lot, but today we're gonna do one that's a little bit more intense in the chest, I think, than anything. So watch first again. I'm going to turn, look over my shoulder. A lot of us will have to lean back, and then I take my opposite hand. So my right foot is forward, and I'm reaching over my right shoulder to my foot. Then I start to turn my chest up. Now, as I turn my chest up, I have to keep my bottom arm bone, look, bottom arm bone back. So when I'm turning, I'm turning from my waist, lifting from my upper back. Then I can stretch my top arm past the ear. But what I really want you to watch is how you come out of this. So look, to come out, I don't just sit up. That'll go right into my lower back. You're going to turn, look down, and kind of come out the same way you went in. All right, so let's try. I'm gonna switch legs. So we're gonna start with our left foot forward. Bring your left foot forward, right leg back. Make sure you have padding under your right knee if it doesn't like pressure on the floor. You don't have a lot of carpet. Make sure your back hip is over your knee. Toes tucked under. Make sure the toes are tucked under. All right, from here, you're going to look over your left shoulder. Reach back. You might need to lean back a little bit and straighten your front leg a little. That's fine. Take your left hand to the heel. Pause. Right hand to your hip. Then start to turn your chest up. Put your palm on your heel, however is most comfortable. And as you turn the chest up, roll your left shoulder back. Then puff your chest up. Puff the chest up. Now stretch your top arm past your ear. Keep the top arm straight and strong. Now come out, look over your left shoulder, twist your spine to the left, and come on up. Woo, have fun. All right, right leg forward, left leg back. Boom. Okay. Again, make sure your lunge is not too long. That's because it makes it a lot more intense. Right, think about it. If you were deeper in a lunge like this, to reach back would be far more intense. So from here, right foot forward, look over your right shoulder, right hand reaches back, boom. Now don't automatically just take your left arm up, take this next step nice and slow, roll your right shoulder back, keep twisting your chest up, 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 right shoulder back, then stretch your top arm past your ear and really reach it, really reach it. Then twist your chest down, look to your right, and inhale, come on up. Final downward facing dog pose. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, lower. From here, roll over onto your back. Bend your knees, place your feet to the floor. Oh. Take your arms to your sides and just for a few moments, windshield wipe your knees side to side a few times, just in case there's any residual crankiness in your lower back space. Okay. Now come back to center. Bend your knees, place your feet to the ground. Lift your hips up, interlace your fingers, and come on into bridge pose. Tuck your upper arms, shoulders, underneath. Breathe. All right. So I'm not going to teach how to do wheel, but since we're so open, for those of you familiar with wheel, now's your chance. Press up. Otherwise, stay in bridge pose. And then whatever back bend you're in, come on down. Release. And you can just let your knees drop in or do a little windshield wiper side to side, whatever you like. You know, some of you, your backs might feel really nice right now. You're like, oh, this is, this is lovely. Like, oh, I'm, I want to keep going. So what I'm going to say to you, if your back is feeling like that, backbenders, pause the video, backbend for a while, do different variations, whatever then come back to here right now, okay? Because now we're gonna release our backs. Hug your right knee into your chest. 
Stretch your left leg down on the ground. Hold behind your right thigh then and stretch your right leg up. Don't go for your deepest hamstring stretch. This is more about releasing your lower back than stretching out your hamstring the whole back. And then re-bend your right knee. Release the right leg down, hug your left knee to your chest. Start with the knee bent for a few breaths. Breaths, breaths. And then hold behind your left thigh. Stretch your left leg up. Release. Place your feet to the ground like you were doing one more back bend. Take your arms to the sides. Move your butt about six inches to your right. Boom. Pick your knees and shins up and take your knees and shins over to your left. 90 degrees. Jatara, pa, Jatara, Padadara Panasana. Left hand onto your right knee. Exhale, gently turn your upper waist to your right. Ugh. Sorry, that was a good sound just by back releasing. It's nice. Inhale, come back to center. Take your knees to the left of center. Pick your, I'm sorry, take your hips to the left of center. Take your knees up and over to your right. Again, right hand on top of the left knee. Oh, twist, so good. Such a nice twisty combo. Inhale, come back to center. All right. Take your right ankle, open your right knee up in a half happy baby. Stretch your left leg down on the ground. And then switch sides, take your left leg in, half happy baby, right leg down on the ground. And then take both legs in happy baby. Rock a little bit side to side. Join your knees and shins together. Peel yourself up off the floor, round your back. Hug yourself deeply. And then exhale, release. Shavasana, take a deep breath in. Ah. And just take a nice full breath in through your nose. And exhale out. And bend your knees lightly one at a time. Roll over onto your side and just let yourself rest on your side. And then please make your way up to seat again. So nice to be back with you all doing yoga. Um, I will be uploading more videos during my month off and hopefully beyond then too. Um, as always, my donation information, if you're able to donate, is in the description box below here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in being alerted to my new videos. Invite your friends to subscribe. Um, as always, if you have questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, namaste. Thank you guys so much.